If you've released drawings and they need correction, you must highlight the errors you've corrected. The way to do this is to go to your layout book. Choose the layout that needs correcting. And then indicate the area that's changed. The way to indicate the area that's changed is to use the change tool. Now before we get started, there's one more thing we need to do. Under document, layout, book, we need to go to transmittal sets and we need to create a new transmittal set. So for example, if this is an assessment you're handing in and it's assessment number two, give that the name as the transmittal. If this is the second revision, then call it revision two. So this is the second time we've revised the drawings, this is the revision two, it's a work in progress, and then okay. So now get your change tool and highlight the areas that have changed. That's that area's changed. Maybe you've added something in this area as well, then make that change as well. Highlight the things that have changed. Now, if we go to our title block, and in this case, the title block is a worksheet here, title block. So let's have a look at our title block. Now, at the moment, the title block has nothing that will allow us to see revisions. I'm going to take this block of text and I'm going to copy it over here. So the control key to make sure I copy it and then just stretch that so it doesn't go too far. So here I'm going to make a revision. I'm going to change this and call this revisions. Revision, so that I'm going to have here a revision number. Now this is going to give me my layout ID, which is the drawing number. I don't want that, so I'm going to highlight that and delete it. This is the area for our auto text. If I click on the auto text, it brings up all my auto text options. Now it's not in layout, it's in layout revisions and I want the current revision ID. So double click on that, that it puts it into our drawing area or into our title block. We can now click away from that, so we've got revision. And that just should just say revision number. And it's revision ID is going to be listed there. I can close this and just check to make sure it turns up here. Now it turns up here and it does give an extra line here. Now I just need to remove that and it's just part of um, editing our title block. If we go back to our master, that's my vertical master, let's edit that. You can see here that my title block has moved a little bit. What's actually happened is this has just jumped up a little bit, this is like a viewport. So I'm just gonna change that crop area and I'm gonna bring that back down and that should fix it. Now that should have fixed my drawing, let's go back. And you can see that I've now got drawing 100 and the revision is 01 and it's a WIP, which is a work in progress. Now this work in progress will remain until you close the transmittal. Finish every revision, put all your clouds on, make sure you've got all the clouds on all the sheets and then come up to document, layout book, transmittal sets, and we're going to close the current transmittal set. Now remember, don't do this until you've finished every revision cloud, because if you close it and you add another revision cloud, you'll have to create a new transmittal set and you'll have to close that one as well. And if the work in progress is listed here, then we know that the current transmittal set hasn't been closed. And you can see there the work in progress is, is now vanished and we know that this is now ready to process. So then publish the drawings to PDF and everything will be fine.